David, how eager are you to see how the running game all comes together this week? You repeat it. I can't hear you. Hit. How eager are you to see how the running game all comes together this week? Uh, I'm just eager in general to just go out and play with the guys, honestly. Um, play against somebody new and different from camp and playing uh, against our guys. So I'm, I'm excited and eager just to go out there and play. What have, uh, what's impressed you about Dam Damien and, and his skill set and what he kind of brings to the backfield? Uh, he's like a big vet, so he's more like a big brother. And like some stuff that I don't know that I have not known being like young in the league, um, he helps me a lot as far as like that on the mental aspect. And like him being a veteran, being able to still move how he moves is pretty impressive too. Talk about being excited and you know just the great guy to play. What is your approach going to be this season now that you have a healthier running back room? You got Damon, you got Khalil behind him, and the pressure may be off you a tad bit. Does that change how you're going to play the game this year? Uh, nah, I'm just going in it every game and every opportunity I get as if it's my last. So I just want to be sure that I leave it all out on the field whenever I get an opportunity to. What did, uh, what did Damien teach you? You said there were things you didn't know being a young guy. Is there any specific thing you can tell us about? I can't tell you that. <laughs> Dave, you, you really were ascending at the end of last year. Um, what's your confidence level like as you start this season, and what are your what are your personal expectations for yourself in year three? Uh, last year's last year. Um, so w whatever it was, it was. It's a new year. Um, I just want to go out and just be the best me, the best version of myself I can be. Um, whenever you know the opportunity presents itself. So like the mindset that I have is try to go in or going in. Um, just being me, and Coach Nagy preaches just, just be you, and uh, bringing everybody else around me with me so that we can get this thing rolling. Any goals? Um, just to win. Did it feel like a breakthrough to you last year? Did it feel like there were things that clicked for you last season that didn't your rookie year? Um, I mean, it's just football at the end of the day. Um, sometimes, sometimes things work, sometimes things don't. Um, and when they do, you just kind of just want to stay honed in to when you get those opportunities and you get in those situations where you kind of got to make that play or you got to make it happen. And it happens. It's a relief, but it's also at the same time, it's confirmation that it, that we can be as good as we can be once we get it going. What gives you confidence in the five offensive linemen in front of you? And how much of that is a rhythm of kind of getting a feel as a back of where your holes are going to be. So you asked me two questions, right? Yeah. The first question was? What gives you confidence in the, in the offensive line in front of you? Uh, God, first. I mean, first and foremost. I mean, I can't play this game or do anything that I do if it's not for God. <laughs> you know, God orders every step for me and orders every step for everybody else around me as well. Um, but also, just those guys in front of me. Like, they haven't shown me anything to, or give me an opportunity to make me think that I shouldn't have confidence in those guys. You know, so I'm excited just to go out there and play it long. The second question is that you, you ran behind an offensive line that was changing week to week for a lot of last year, and then there was stability down the stretch, and it started. Is, is there a certain rhythm that a back gets when there's continuity up front, and, and it, does it change anything for you in, in terms of vision and, and things that you feel? Um, I mean, I guess it just depends on the game and the situation, what, how things are going. But it's always good where you can get like a rhythm going and you can kind of get your feet in the ground and you can, you know, move around a little bit and do what you're capable of doing. So, um, yeah, it, it's definitely good to have that uh, like reassurance that, you know, you got the group of guys and that's who you're rolling with. So, but at the end of the day, you understand it's the NFL and guys get hurt, you know, and you got to have the next play and the next person mentality. So, got to pick up where you left off. David, when you when you play one snap in a preseason game and that's your preseason work, how do you know that you're ready to go? Uh, you know, do you listen to your body in practice? How, how do you know that you're ready for the season to, to start? Um, well, I really don't have a choice because the season going the season gonna start whether I wanted to or not. Um, I mean, I really wanted to, of course, obviously, but um, those are those things that the, the reps that you get in practice where you get opportunities to kind of. You know, go do what you would do if it, in live situations. You kind of got to take advantage of it. So we had live periods in um, camp, which were good, and I had fun um, doing. But, you know, at the same time, like, I'm a running back. So, like, I get hit all the time. Like, you never forget what a hit feels like. So when I go back out there, I will get hit again. I'll be like, 
I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> David, when you're, when you're in here talking with us, you seem a lot different than you did when you first got here as far as talking to the media. You seem a lot more comfortable uh, with all of, the, all of the attention or the questions or whatever it might be. How much has changed for you since that first summer here to now? Uh, just simply experience. You know, you, you, when I come in as a rookie, like, you don't know what to expect or what kind of questions you guys ask or how serious I can be. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just questions, you know. It's, uh, it's really simple. <laughs> Whether you like the answer or not, it's my answer. So. Well, you've gone you've gone from kind of like short answers and kind of shy to, to challenging Mark Potash to a bowling match. I mean, <laughs> like the press conferences have gotten a lot different than they did for, since that first summer in Bourbon A. And I just wonder if if there's just parts of this job that you've gotten more comfortable with. If you've come out of your shell as a person, I know it's just the media uh, interactions. So I mean, I I can only base it on that. I'm just wondering how much you've changed or kind of found your voice in the last few years? I think sometimes when you say media, you look at it, people look at it as in a transparent sense. When all, in all actuality, you guys are humans at the end of the day too. So you got feelings, you got emotions, just like us players got feelings and we got emotions. So once you start, it's like a natural thing that happens. Once you begin to get comfortable with people, you begin to open up and talk about things you're not normally used to talking about or saying what you feel like you can say now. So I kind of look at it as you guys have done anything or you show me the utmost respect. So what would it be like for me not to do the same for y'all? So it's kind of how I look at it. David, you talked earlier about, or earlier this offseason about Tara being slept on as one of the top running backs in the league. And now you're really excited for week one. Is there any extra excitement knowing that you're going to be Sunday night football? You got a platform right away to show to show the league. You, you know what? I really am one of the top backs in the league. Uh, I think I view it as like every opportunity is a platform, whether the lights are on or if they're off. I mean, I look at practice as if it's a platform um, because you know it's an opportunity for me to go show my God-given abilities and be confident in doing it. So um, the difference in Sunday is it's at night. You know, I try to prepare practice and, um, you know, taking notes as if the game is at practice. So, I mean, it really ain't different, but the light's just on, I guess. What about conversations been like with James Daniels this week ahead of uh, Saturday's rivalry? Yeah, I talked to him. <laughs> it was a pretty intense uh, conversation. But I think when it's all said and done, when the media – or when you guys come and talk to us next week, I'll be a very happy camper. <laughs> <laughs>